Hey everyone, it's Emily. I am back with another cash stuffing video. Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a brief description. My name is Emily. I am a low income budgeter and cash stuffer here on YouTube. I am a mom of a 10 year old girl and my occupation is a custodian for the local school district here. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So, today I have $300 to stuff. And I have my little cash envelope system here. It's just a binder, a hologram binder that I purchased off of Amazon. And then I have these little pouches that I have labeled. Um, I bought the pouches off of Amazon and my sister made the labels for me uh, with her label maker. So I have a couple of categories I'm gonna stuff today. I'm not gonna stuff all the categories today. I'm just gonna do a few. And so I have my trusty little notebook here to show you what categories that I will be uh, stuffing. I'm gonna do gas, Emily, household, home savings, Ashton, which is for our clothes, debt payment, laundry and eat out so these are the categories that i will be stuffing today and i like i said i have 300 dollars to stuff okay so first gas is up first and as you can see i don't have anything left in the envelope but i did have 20 dollars left over from last pay period so i had already put that into my gas tank so I have $20, I mean $60 for this time. So we are going to take three 20s, 20, 40, and 60. And $60 goes to gas. So I didn't really drive as much last time that I got paid because I stuffed my envelopes for two weeks basically. So I'm hoping that this $60 will last me uh a while too and that i might have something left over at the end of the two weeks like i did this time okay so gas got 60. And laundry so i do not have a washing machine and dryer in my apartment nor do i have a connection so i have to go to the laundromat every week and i spend about you know between 10 to 15 a week but um I am budgeting only $20 out for laundry for this pay period. So that's $10 to spend for this week and $10 to spend for next week. So laundry will get $10, uh, $20 and I'm going to do two 10s for that. A 10 and another 10. I'm going to turn those up right uh, face up. I like my money to all go the same direction and to face upward. So, laundry gets 20, it gets two tens. Y'all, I hardly ever have money left over. And here we go again. I am going to have to replace these envelopes because my little tabs, my little zippers are starting to fall off. So, the zipper fell off of this one as it did the other one. So, I'll try to put this back on if not, I'm going to have to do like I did my other envelopes and just pretty much cut them with uh, the ones that are falling off. Just cut the zipper part off. Yeah, that's probably what I have to do to this one until I can order me some new envelopes. I've had these for a while, so they're just that the zippers are starting to fall off of them. So, and I might just be a little heavy handed, you guys. So, um, bear with me. <laughs> I'm getting ready to redo my envelope systems anyway, so. Grocery. Grocery got some change left. And I've already went grocery shopping, so I don't have anything to stuff in here now. Uh, but grocery usually gets $120, $100 every two, $120 every two weeks, $100 or at least $100. So Ashton, Ashton has some money left over. That's one of the ones I did have left over. And as you can see, Ashton zipper part felt so i had to cut it so we just do what it do over here i'm like i said i'm gonna eventually uh get me a new envelope system but right now we're just using what we have so ashton had some money left over you guys so let's see how much she have left over i'm not gonna stuff this but 
Oh, yes, yes, I am. I am going to stuff hers, but let's see how much we had left over. 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, and 38. Sorry, I had to turn that money, y'all, because I, I cannot stand when it's not going the right way. So she, she has $38 here. So that's what she had. Now Ashton, Ashton is going to get uh, fifty dollars for clothes. I need to buy her some pants because it's still it's cool mornings here in South Carolina and warmer evenings. So she can still wear shorts and she still has some pants that fit from last year, but she's going to need some new ones. So I'm going to put fifty dollars towards clothes for her so we'll just throw that there we'll just count this one more time to see what she has all together 20 40 50 60 65 70 71 72 73 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, and 88. So she has $88. I had got to get that together with the money facing the right way. She has $88 here. Okay. And I hope I count that right. I'm not going to count it again. And she has some change down in there. Which will empty that out next time into my uh, change jar. Okay? So $88 in Ashton. Emily. Emily has not a none. Okay, so Emily will be getting $50. And what I usually use my money for is get my nails done. This is the set that I just got done about a week ago. And as you can see, it did not hold up too well with this set. This, this uh, gel polish right here cracked on me because they were not dry. They were not fully dry. And so I went back once to have this fixed and then it still peeled on me. So I didn't, this, this nail, these nails right here were supposed to be my fall inspired set. Mm -mm, honey wasn't too happy with those okay so emily is going to have 50 20 40 and 10 makes 50 so this would be for me to go and get my nails done i'm thinking about getting them cut down you guys they are a bit on the long side for me i like them long don't get me wrong but for the type of work that I do, um, they're starting to uh, be kind of hard to maintain. They break a lot. Polish is chipping a good bit. And this is gel polish that I get. I usually have a problem with the polish, but the, my nails are, are starting to break a lot. And this is just for me, the type of work that I do. So I'm thinking about just getting them cut down really short for fall and winter and then go back to long in the summer. So I can be a hot girl and be a hot girl summer. <laughs> I'm really crazy y'all, but yes. Yeah, so I think about getting them cut down. Eat Out. Eat Out is going to get 10 and I have $9 left. So I could not pull that out of the ATM. So it's gonna get the 10 and then I have another nine to spend on eating out. It, that'll just be off of my debit card. So, and it had a quarter in there. So, eat out got 10. Fun money gets none. Still ain't having no fun, y'all. Household supplies. So, I need to re-up on some things for the household. And so, I usually give it 20, but it's going to get 10 this time. So household, I mean, I mean not 10, household is going to get 30 this time. So it's going to get a, 10, a 20. 
and a 10. Y'all, I can't talk today. We're gonna get a 20 and a 10. So, household gets 30. I need to re up on some personal hygiene items. I think we need some toilet paper, some soap, mouthwash, dish detergent. I need a lot, y'all. But we got $30. We're probably gonna go to the Dollar Tree and Dollar General or Family Dollar or something as well. So, there we go. Back to school. We're already in school, so back to school doesn't get anything. She doesn't get anything. Date night. We ain't been on no date in a minute. Uh, I'm not putting anything towards this, but Bay might take us out. So, that's his money. So, we will not fun i'm not gonna fund anything to this so if he takes us out he takes us out but because i did tell him i wanted to go to the movies so hopefully he can make that happen for us birthdays and gifts gets nothing not, nobody has a birthday my mom actually did have a she has a birthday on monday but i've already gave her her birthday money so that's it for that and then I have a couple of other um, envelopes that I need to stuff as well. We are going to stuff my paper envelopes because, like I said, I need to redo this. And I plan to do that soon. So I have some money here. I, mean, I have some money left over. And I have two envelopes left. So we're going to start with debt payment. So debt payment had $45 and i had to spend this y'all so i'm just really putting this back in here putting the 45 back in here so the 45 back in there and then i added an additional five so that payment gonna have 50. yeah so i spent that i ain't gonna lie so i only have 50 dollars in here so i had 45 i funded it 45 dollars last time and I'm just gonna add five dollars from this pay period. So debt payment has 50. I will be putting this back into the bank this time to make sure I go ahead and pay what I need to pay with this so I don't spend it. Okay, okay, so now home savings. Home savings is top priority right now because um, I explained my situation in my last cash stuff in the video and budgeting video about why I am saving for a home before I get out of debt. I explain why I have to prioritize getting into a house before I get out of debt. If you want to know why, check out my last cash stuffing or my last budgeting video to find out. Um, so I have $140 in here. Okay, and I'm going to add $30. Okay, so let's count what we have in here. Just to make sure everything is straight. 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, and 40. So that's 140. And I am going to add the last 20. Oh my God, if I can get it. 20 and the last 10. So I'm going to add 30 to that. And I'll make sure my 20, my money is lining up. So let's see how much we got now. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, and 70. So, home savings gets uh, has $170 in it. And I will be taking this to the bank very soon to make that deposit. And I do have more than just this. I have about a quarter of a down payment um, in my home savings. Um, I haven't set a goal of how much I'm going to save and I haven't disclosed the amount that I have but I may choose to disclose that in a future video of how much I have for home savings uh, a bulk of it is in the bank so I don't have that much cash sitting uh, on hand in my purse or in my home so I chose to put that into a savings account and um, I decided to make this top priority 
Um, I do have some sinking funds that are at Capital One and um, I'm not going to talk about those today but I decided to put any type of extra money that I have out of my paycheck or any kind of extra money that I make on the side portion will be going to home savings because uh, I really need to sit down and make a goal of how much I want to save but right now we're just dumping we're just dumping all of our extra money anything extra I get goes into home savings okay so I'm not doing uh, y'all this nail broke oh god don't talk about these nails was a ratchet set of nails right here but yeah that, that these nails broke me anyway so I'm not going to um put a cap on this right now but I just want to say that I'm also not saving money for other things right now but for this so I don't have money saved uh, I don't right now I don't have any sinking funds at all um, except for I have them but they don't have anything in them um, the only thing that I have sinking funds in right now is I have $150 in car maintenance and my next child tax credit check, I will be putting that two fifty towards uh, car maintenance because I need to get a timing belt and water pump. Um, I need an O2 sensor as well as um, I might need a radiator. So, but um, I have my ex husband is my mobile mechanic. And he's gonna cut me a deal on all those things so he's only gonna charge me $350 for all those things including parts and labor so um, yeah I do have a thousand dollars right now in my emergency fund and that's it and so and then I also have my home savings which I will decide if I'm going to excuse me y'all just burped I'm, I'm gonna decide if I'm going to disclose that amount in my future videos okay so um yeah so i just want to let you guys know um that was my cash stuffing for this pay period i will be getting paid again on october the 15th this was the cash stuffing for september the 30th check and um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video before I go, I do need to do a couple of shout outs. Um, I have had a lot of traffic over here on my channel, you guys, and it's and I'm very thankful for it. And it's all because of you guys. You guys have been commenting and liking my videos, sharing my videos, and whatnot. And so, I just want to shout out a couple of people that I've been watching. And I'm going to start off with some channels that I've been really enjoying. And one of the channels that I've been enjoying is Danny on a Dollar. That is a channel um, that I've been really enjoying. And she's a really, I can tell she's a really sweet lady. And um, go over and uh, watch her videos, guys, and show her some love as well. I've been enjoying Brit Budgets. I really like her channel. So head over and show her some love as well. And let, don't forget to let them know, guys, that I sent you as well. So go over, check her out, and subscribe to her channel. Budget and Vibes. I really like her videos, guys. Y'all, her videos are really, really good videos. Um, she does a lot of different techniques. She does challenges. Um, one thing that really stood out to me is that she's also has a home savings binder that she does. She's saving for her home as well as for furniture for her house. And I re I just really like her channel. Um, she does do things a little bit different than uh, how I do them. I'm very simplistic over here on my channel. So if you like some of the extras like the uh, tablet budgeting and like the cash trays and uh more of the challenges and stuff you'll you'll really really like her channel you guys so go over and show her some love 
Okay, the last channel that I'm gonna share is, her name is Ms. Shamika. It's M-R-Z Shamika, S-H-A-M-I-C-A. -A. This channel right here, um, she's a small YouTuber as well, and I really, really like her channel. And actually, I won a giveaway from her recently, and she actually contributed to her giveaway was how I contributed to my home savings. I, I won, she cashed out me $20 for winning her one of her giveaways. And I really, really appreciated that. And it went to home savings. But she does some, uh, has some really good uh, but, uh, budgets and videos as well. She's a small YouTuber as well. So go over and check out Miss Shamika and show show them some love you guys subscribe and like their videos as well and uh yeah so i just wanted to give a couple of shout outs and let y'all guys know that i watch y'all videos too and if you guys um one of the things that i like about youtube is it's a variety but one of the video things that i like about budgeting is i like to see people actually do their budget um there are a couple of people on youtube i mean there's a lot of people on youtube that just do cash envelope stuffing but i really really like to see when people break their budgets down and say what they allocate for their bills and their paycheck and how much they allocate to this or to that and I just like to check out people that has similar budgets to mine. And like I said, my budget is very low. I think I bring home about 1800 a month and sometimes less than that. But um, I would like to see other people that do actual budgets on their uh, channels as well so if you know any other channels that actually do low income budgets where they write their budgets out shout them out down in the comments leave their names down in the comments so i can check out their videos as well and i hope you guys have an amazing weekend it is the weekend while i'm filming this i hope you guys have an amazing weekend get out and enjoy the sunshine uh, if you need to rest, rest and take care of yourself. And I love you guys, and I will see you guys in the next video.